morning, everybody. You awake? Huh? A little bit awake? It's so good to see each and every one of you here today. I've got something on my head that I want to show you. What are these? Yes. What do I need these glasses for? Yeah, I can barely see the outline of your faces without these glasses. Now, you need new glasses, I know, Sarah. Now, glasses are for folks who need a little fixing in their eyesight, right? Jay, do you have glasses? Anybody else have glasses? Yeah. And, and they make things a lot more sharp, don't they, Marley? It's really great. Now, I want to ask you something. Uh, we can fix our eyes with glasses. What other, how many senses do we have? Can any of you name the senses, the five senses? Name one of them, Josiah. Smell. Smell, yeah. Who here loves the sense of smell? Yeah, I love the sense of smell. Others? What are the, one of the other five? Taste. Taste, the sense of taste. Who here loves the sense of taste? Oh, I love taste. All right, Marla, what's your touch? Yeah, touch is a wonderful thing. Who here loves to touch a soft little puppy or a soft teddy bear or a prickly little rose bush. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But thank God for the sense of touch because otherwise we wouldn't know if we were burning ourselves. Right? Or the sense of a cool swim in the swimming pool in the summer. We can thank our maker for the sense of touch. Okay, let's see. Have we missed one? Hear. Yes, hearing. We've missed the sense of hearing. Have we gotten all five of them now? We're missing one? Sight. Sight, yeah. Well, we were talking about that earlier. The sense of sight. Now, we just talked about how we can fix our sense of sight, right? Uh, if there's problems, we can get glasses. What's one of the others we can fix if there's problems? You know? Hearing. Yeah, what do we do when we have a uh, hearing loss, Miles? What can we get? A hearing aid. Yeah, we can get a hearing aid, but you know, they're very expensive. You know, they are so expensive, a lot of people, and they're not perfect either. Not like eyeglasses. Some people choose for a hearing aid to sit in the front row of church. You know, it's really thankful for that too. <laughs> and, and I had to sit in the front row of class to see the chalkboard for a while. Class. Now, which of you, who here loves, well, who do you, what was your that we've got that you would just hate to lose. Who here votes for sight? You never want to lose your sight. You know, I'm with you there. But how about sound and hearing? You know, we, we don't want to lose that either, do we? It, it's hard to choose one of those senses that we would, if we had to go without one, which one we'd go without. I want to, I want to, share, I want to share a story with you today about somebody who lost her sight. You know her name? No, you don't, but she's in this book. How many of you love some of the songs that are in our hymn book here, right? We get to sing Jesus Loves Me. You all love that song, don't you? And there's all so many good songs. Well, there's a song right here. It's number 98. It's called To God Be the Glory. You know that song? To yeah. God Be the Glory. You know. That song was written by Fanny Crosby. Let me tell you a little bit about Fanny Crosby. When she was six years old, she had an eye infection. Now, you know, what kind of eye infections might we get? Pink eye, you know, maybe a sty, something like that. Have any of you had a sty in your eye? A pink eye? Yeah, sometimes we see floaters in our eyes, you know, our eyes, our eyes are fascinating things. Well, unfortunately for Fanny, she went to her doctor, and her doctor treated her eye infection wrong. Now, I don't want you to be afraid this is not going to happen to you, because it happened a long time ago. But within days, Fanny was blind. And she never saw any more all the days of her life. Now, if you knew the, the beauty of being able to see and all of a sudden you lost it, would you be very upset? Yes. I know I would. And we 
we probably think she would be, but listen to this poem that she wrote. Is that Hannah? Oh, Hannah, come on over, sweetheart. You wanna come?